Ooh, hello, Gemini. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support, and I send it right back to you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. This reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity, what messages do you have for the sign of Gemini, please and thank you? Messages for the sign of Gemini. I don't know why I just got trying to get back together. So you guys could have someone trying to get back together with you for some of you guys. Never ending story. I'm definitely getting okay. So you guys could have someone trying to pursue you again, like really hard here. Because with gang energy, someone's like about to take action. They're about to put the work towards something. And they feel like they know for sure that you're the person that they want to be with, the person that they're meant to spend the rest of their life with. But they're viewing some sort of fork in the road. And I'm getting the fork in the road is that you're not sure about this connection anymore because it's been a never ending story. So there's been some sort of repeated toxic behavior with this person, which has caused you guys to lose interest in this connection. Okay, so we have Queen of Cups, Ten of Wands, and the Eight of Wands. So, someone that you had a lot of love for. You put a lot of your heart, your soul into this connection. You felt like this person burdened you. And it was it got to a point where you felt like you just couldn't take any more. Some of you guys, this person kept you waiting. Whatever they did, they pushed you too far with this Ten of Wands energy. Because you were like, you can't go on like this anymore. This person is feeling like you just kind of just dipped out without them knowing or realizing that you were about to dip out of their life. And they felt like you did it fast. Like they didn't even have time to make things work with you before you just dipped out. Now, this is their perception of the situation. I'm, from what I'm getting from you is this person had multiple opportunities to make things right with you. But they're seeing this like you just dipped out. You didn't give them any time to make things right, to explain themselves. And the crazy part is I'm getting some of y'all. It took some time for you to finally leave this person. The challenge is justice and the Knight of Cups. Your, just, your justice is some sort of new love proposal coming towards you. You have good karma coming in for you because of how it, it's like you guys were constantly done wrong uh, by relationships in the past. So now you're manifesting the right type of partnership towards you. Someone who's going to be fair and just, who's going to treat you right, give you the life that, uh, life that you deserve. The root of the situation is judgment and the knight of swords. You guys are being, you've become more logical and practical about uh, the way you approach uh, relationships and situations in general. With the judgment here, that, there has been a lot that you learned from your past experiences, which allows you to be more knowledgeable uh, with the way you handle situations, approaching the future and also in the present as well. I'm seeing that you guys are able to communicate more clearly as well too, whereas in the past you could have been a little bit bashful when it came to partnerships or just 
shyness in general when it came to dealing with other people. So you guys, it looks like you guys are letting go the mentality of someone coming in and saving the day, rescuing you from something you don't want to experience anymore or just that knight in shining armor type of energy. Whether you're male or female, it's just someone coming in and bringing a change in your life. It looks like instead of you guys hoping for someone else to do it, you're doing it yourself. So, you guys, I'm getting raising your vibration. I mean, a lot of you guys, Empress, there's a lot of growth that's taking place in your life. With the Three of Cups here, I'm saying some of you guys will be celebrating something here in the near future. Something that you're in the process of birthing. You're on the verge of giving birth to something. That's going to be a, it's, it's going to cause some sort of celebration here, but this is really good. As I'm seeing, like your friends, uh, the people that um, you surround yourself with are really excited about something that you're in the process of giving birth to, burden into reality. I'm definitely seeing you guys attracting a lot of abundance towards you as well, taking better care of yourself too. The energy that you're in, it looks like you're attracting a lot of attention as well. And I'm going to tell you what, uh, especially for my feminine energies, you guys stand out from the rest of the crowd. So don't ever be intimidated by someone else. Because if you only knew how people looked at you, you wouldn't be worried about um, any sort of competition at all. Because the way people look at you, they look at you as what they... Uh, they in, like you inspire them what they aspire to be. Because it looks like it's the people that you surround yourself by or the people that are within your environment, they just kind of blend in with each other. There's nothing, like they don't stand out. But you, you stand out from the crowd. You, when you walk into the room, all eyes are on you. You catch people's attention. Okay, in the recent past, there was some sort of tower and the lovers. So some of you guys, your idea of what your perfect relationship would be, or if you guys had some sort of idea of what you thought your relationship was going to be with someone else, or just a relationship in general, crumbled apart. If it, it didn't, it fell apart here. Whether it was an idea, an actual relationship, something you was fantasizing about, is long gone. It The universe intervened in this situation to get you out of la-la land and to get you moving in the right direction. And guess where they're moving you towards? The Two of Cups, True Love. Someone who's willing to take a stand for this relationship. Someone who's willing to fight for what they want. Y'all got a provider coming in for my feminines. And if you're a masculine, you are that provider. This is someone who's determined. They know how to make things happen here. And they, they're not afraid to wear their heart on their sleeve as well which is something you're going to find very attractive about them because it, it shows how masculine, how confident they truly are that they're not afraid to wear their heart on their sleeves. They're not trying to blend in with, you know, their homeboys or the idea of what a man should be. This is someone who they do their own thing and they do what they believe and they believe in love. So the both of you are lovers, so you're attracting each other. You both are looking for true love. I'm getting like, this person looks really good too. Like if you're a masculine, you look really good. Okay, so 
of someone's missing the pendant. We have nine of pentacles. Someone sent you in the pendant. You got it going on. You're building your own empire here. You're not waiting for anyone to help. You're not waiting for anyone to come in and save the day. You are doing it yourself. And someone finds it very attractive. Some of y'all could have some sort of influence uh, over others as well. Whether you're in a boss position, you guys are on social media, something that you're doing, you have some sort of influence over others. Or it's just your energy in general. You have a tendency to influence other people. But I'm saying that you use, you the way you exert yourself, the energy that you put out is positive. So you um, try to guide people towards improving their life. But I'm saying that whoever you are, you're someone who's very independent, you're strong, you're determined. You have been working hard towards uh, having a particular lifestyle, whatever lifestyle that you desire. And if you're not already in this energy where you're not uh, living paycheck to paycheck, you're about to be sitting pretty in a second here. Some of y'all have this emperor looking at you, someone who is very influential. Someone who's in a powerful position and they love how independent you are, how confident you are and how you stand out. You're not like anyone else. The will of fortune and the seven of cups. So you're looking, it, it looks like y'all haven't met this person yet with the will of fortune. I'm getting that this is something coming in to you. And the way you're going to be looking at this person is you're going to feel like this is something that's destined to be. You feel like this is a faded connection. You realize that you met this person for a reason. But the way you're looking at this person is this is the person you're meant to be with. Because out of all the other options, that is the person that you will be choosing. And you're not confused about it. You're like, I want this one. So you guys are going to have a lot of options here, if not already. What is your advice for Gemini, please? And thank you. So we have the Hermit. Silently boss up. Silent and the King of Pentacles. Silently boss up. Silently boss up with the Hermit. You're not being, uh, you weren't guided to withdraw your energy for no reason. This is a glow up that's taking place. You got the King of Wands and the King of Pentacles coming through. Y'all are bossing up, silently boss up, going after your goals and actually reaching a level of success that you've been aiming for. So it's time to get your hustle on. It's time for you guys to push through to make things happen. Because right now, the energy is in your favor for you to turn your life around. But it's all if you... if Because the King of Pentacles energy, the King of Pentacles... This person, they put that work in to achieve their goals, to achieve some level of success that they desire. And when you're in that King of Pentacles energy, that, that's saying that you have achieved the level of success that you desire because you took the action with the King of Wands popping up here. You put your heart and soul into something. It's something you don't need to share with anyone else. You just need to take action towards it. Keep it to yourself. And they'll see. When when the time comes and you're you're ready to come out and show everybody what you've been doing while you've been on your own, not focusing on anyone, anything other than what you need to do, minding your business here, they'll see. Because whatever you're coming into is leveling you up significantly here and i'm seeing that you guys came from nothing and slowly you may building your money up but now you're about to have that bitcoin here where you're gonna be like look look what i got what look what i built for myself here you got something to show for yourself it's like i didn't go into hiding for nothing and it's not like y'all was hiding it was just you had to withdraw your energy from some people here
Okay, so shy withholding, courting man. Y'all have someone who's interested in you. Destiny, I'm telling y'all. So there's some sort of obstacle currently. I'm saying someone is definitely interested in you, and this is some it, this connection is meant to be. They could feel like you're if it's like initially when you meet this person, they feel like you are not interested or you just are looking right past them. You're not seeing them. What is this obstacle about? I'm seeing. Okay. I'm getting the obstacle here is that you aren't focused on love. You're you're focused on your spiritual growth and bossing up. You guys have entre entrepreneurship on your mind. That's why you come across as being detached. Because even in a room full of people, you're still in this process of manifesting. So say you guys are working a nine to five. When you clock in at that nine to five, you getting your work done, you in and out. Can't nobody say nothing about how you working because you working. But while you there, you got a lot on your mind because some of y'all are working towards entrepreneurship too. You're not trying to clock in and out for somebody for the rest of your life. Some of y'all, you just are leveling up. You, It's like you may be at one level at your uh, job or in one position. You're trying to boss up to a higher position. So y'all are putting that work in. You got a lot on your mind. You're not focused on love. So... Whoever, they're right. You, you're not focused on them. You got other things on your mind. Y'all are prioritizing your finances here. I had to put some lotion on my... Sorry. I got this song for someone else and it's coming through again. It's Chris Staple, uh, Stapleton, I think it is, a uh, traveler. So wherever y'all are, you're not meant to be there for long. You are just passing through. Separation. Pay attention to the red flags, heart to heart conversation, and calling in the soulmate. Why pay attention to the red flags here? Worth waiting for new love so you guys have a new love coming in so i'm definitely interested in you here and they're saying that it's worth waiting for i'm definitely getting like an over cautious energy from you guys but i'm seeing someone here it's like when you get to know this person you're gonna like what you hear or you're seeing so you guys could judge someone prematurely with this separation here i'm getting like the energy coming from you guys is that you just it's, it's really feeling detached from the people around you because you got, like, your mind is, you're really zoned out. You're in the zone right now. Like, focus on what you're wanting to achieve in your life. So you're not tripping off of, you know, the day-to-day -day like everybody else. You are trying to get that work in to make something happen for yourself or whoever this is for. So someone could just feel like you're acting distance or it's hard for them to get through to you or just to get your attention in general. And some of you guys may have not even met this person yet because the Wheel of Fortune was popping up earlier for you. So this could be something coming in and they're just saying like, be mindful of how you're approaching this situation because you're definitely calling in a soulmate. And just be mindful not to pre- uh, prematurely judge this person but to give them a chance hear them out because i'm getting you guys are going to like what you hear once you give them a chance but i'm going to leave it there these are the messages that came through for you guys at this time 
Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment that's reading resonates. With that being said, you all take care.